Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you a great little knife that you can get right now, but only right now. This is a limited run of this uh, knife that's actually been discontinued as far as I know. And this is the uh, Leong Ma number no. five by CRKT. Actually, I've been wanting this thing for a while and it's been discontinued. And this company called Heine Haynes, they ordered a batch of these in this red color, which they've done before with this knife that I love, been carrying this thing since I got it. So this was another one of their limited edition reds. This used to be 50 or 60 pounds, and right now it's 25 in this red version with the little H there as well. This one is awesome. So as soon as I saw the email from them, I was like, I have to order. I was like, all right, I'm taking two of them. One for my dad, because uh, I thought he'd like it. And uh, I also got my dad a uh, SOG pocket power plier which is one of my favorite things. Although mine looks like crap at the moment. And I'm gonna order myself a, th a second one. And that's because if I lose this, I'm not gonna be able to buy another one in the future. By the way, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Like I don't, I'm not making any money from this video, except for the views. Oh yeah, one dollar maybe. Okay, so um, this knife, as soon as I saw it, I had to get it because I've been eyeing this up for several years and I just never bought one. This is a gorgeous UK legal knife that, for me, it's really important to have that, you know, non-locking under three inch uh, blade, which means I can carry this if I want to. And obviously don't take my word for it on the, on the legal side, but as far as I know, it's UK legal to carry. And uh, this is just a really lovely knife with only one or two things that I wouldn't improve about it. But other than that, it's absolutely lovely. Really nice and easy to open with one hand and has this gorgeous uh, finger choil, basically a cut out under the blade, which is super important in knives that don't lock because it prevents, in most situations, prevents that blade from closing on your fingers. With this, if I were to, if I were to bang it against my hand there, it would, it would close on my hand. These um, non-locking knives, they are for light uses, for opening boxes and for whatever, um, opening packages and mail and whatever. This one you can see isn't sharp anymore. I've used that a bit too much. I would love to live in a country where you can have a locking knife. These for me are just tools. And yeah, I'd love to have a tool that is a little bit safer, but for light use knives, that's fine. Let's really quickly go over the specs from the website. This is a CR14MOV stainless steel. It's not one of the most expensive ones. A lot of more budget friendly knives use this kind of steel. Blade length is seven centimeters and the blade thickness is four millimeters. The closed length is nine centimeters and the overall length when opened is 16.6 centimeters or six and a half inch. It is a spear point shape. It's a satin finish on the blade, so it's not super, super mirror finish on it. And it's hollow ground, which means that the uh, grind on this is just a little bit sort of curved inwards like that. I do prefer a full flat grind, which just goes all the way from there to there, but eh, not a big issue, I'm fine with either. The handle scales are G10, which is a material which is made of fiberglass and resin. So basically, it's like they take a bunch of uh, glass fabrics, fabric made of glass, and they put resin on it and they squish it down and it creates this material that has sort of a wood-like texture once it's been sort of filed down. But I think it's pretty nice. It's, it's um, more than grippy enough for my uses, but not like super rough on the hands. It's quite, quite nice to hold. And it is very hard wearing, which I really like. So this I've been carrying around for quite a few months now and it looks basically like new and that's fantastic because with some other plastics once you start carrying them for I mean this one I didn't even carry for that long I carried it for maybe half a year and it just starts to look like quite crappy so that is nice I, I really like that and you do have some jimping back here or gimping if you want to get kinky sort of uh, lines cut out of there just for a bit of uh, grip on the top of the blade there and on the back of the handle as well and we have a very decent deep carry pocket clip which is good but because it's deep carry which means you know it goes all the way to there so it sort of doesn't stick out of the pocket too much then it also means that it can kind of dig into your hand a bit but once again it's a light use knife so I don't think there's any situation where I'm like like if this was a saw that I was having to like saw into something with chop down a tree or something then yeah that would bother me but when I'm opening like a, a letter or a package from, that, that came in the mail, that I mean that like, whatever, I don't even feel that. So it's absolutely fine for its intended use.
And the pocket clip does work really well, has some really nice tension on it. And there are pocket clips that are maybe a little bit more difficult to remove, which I think is a good thing. So for example, this one has that sort of closed, sort of that, that bump downwards more than this one does on the inside there. And that just makes it a little bit more difficult to pull out. So I would have preferred something like this, but this is fine as well. Very easy to put on the belt because of this large opening at the front. And uh, the pocket clip is reversible, so it's uh, both uh, right hand carry the way I have it here, or left hand carry, nice and easy to open with one hand. Has a really nice strong spring there to hold it in place. But the thing is, you have to be careful when opening and closing it. This doesn't have a spring, it's just got a detent there. It's just got a couple of little balls, some little balls. And um, those just keep it in place, but don't hold it super, super tight. I really prefer that. And once again, a, a fairly small detent on there, but I, in my opinion, that's enough to hold it closed so it's not gonna open on its own, but, um, but also easy to open when you need to. It's 100 grams, which is really not too bad. It's less than some other ones, like uh, this one, another UK legal one is way heavier, but it's 100 grams, it's not super lightweight. So for example, um, this is 100 grams, and this is 58 grams, noticeably lighter, but still, you know, not a huge problem to carry either one. This is 34 grams, which is just one of the lightest knives that you can get. And that's awesome, and that's why I love these. But it's just one of those things, like, let's say if I'm going to go out and do some sports, then this is probably going to be just a touch too heavy, and I probably prefer something a little bit lighter. Now, one thing that I actually can improve about this is the handle shape, which I've done in the past, and here, as far as I can tell, changing the handle shape isn't going to cause a big problem if I just change the front of it, because this uh, does close with the tip quite far into the handle there. And what I want to do is just cut it down a little bit, just so that it's... Uh, the way I hold it right here, I want my hand to be right under this choil, right under the cut out there, just to get the most um, support under the blade there, which just holds it pretty nicely compared to that, which, you know, if I was to do that, I mean, it would still be fairly safe, but I mean, that's just a little better. So if I hold it there, then these are sort of right there, which is just not the ideal place for those things to be but once again it's not a problem because it's a light use knife but it's gonna be nicer if I cut them down so I think I'm just gonna take my Bosch rotary tool and uh, just cut that so it's a bit more flat maybe just thin the entire handle out just a tiny bit all the way to there and then just round that off just a tiny bit and I think that should make it Pretty awesome, nice little customized knife. And all those things in the back there are gonna be a separate video. I figured while I'm at this, I was gonna compare it to one other thing and then I figured, hey, why the hell not just pull out all the knives I can find and make a little video about all the knives that I've, well, not everything I've owned because I threw a bunch away, they were crap or sold or whatever. But let me know if you guys wanna see that and on this channel or on the Manly Stuff channel, which by the way, you should subscribe to. Uh, lots of cool like uh, tools and stuff happening on that channel. But uh, yeah, that should be a fun video and showing you guys everything from like some random crap to some actually quite interesting knives. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.